Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Liza James. I am your son or daughter's um, English teacher this year at the Palmdale Aerospace Academy. I am um, a, what's it called? I've been in teaching for about four years now. Uh, before that, I worked in special education as an aide, um, but I knew that English was in my heart, and I've loved English since I was in seventh grade, so I uh, went to school and became an English teacher. Um, this year I have, uh, I teach four classes of um, English 8. I also have English um, 10 and 11 intervention as well as 8th grade bridge. Um, I do have the most experience teaching 8th grade but when I obtained my teaching credential I taught seniors um, and 10th grade and I've also subbed for all the grades so I have um, I have a lot of experience um, getting to know the students. Um, a little bit about me. Um, welcome to the school year. You guys are going to, I didn't show my face in this presentation, but um, you guys can um, get onto Zoom. The link is in Google Classroom. Um, I'll be available for um, questions on Zoom. Just have your um, son or daughter click on the link and you guys can ask me anything you would like. Um, I am available Tuesday night and Wednesday night. I'm back to school night, and you guys can always contact me through um, my email or my phone number. Um, first of all, I just want to tell you that I am a mother of two teenagers myself, two teenage boys. My son Luke is almost 13, and my son Noah is 16. So I have a 7th grader and a 10th grader of my own which is why I wanted to first tell you that I understand what your lives are like. I feel like I spend nearly every night doing homework with my younger son. Uh, my older son is starting to take care of himself, but my younger son still needs me to explain things to him. So I know that your lives are busy. I know that you guys come home and it's constant homework. Um, and it would just be nice to take a break from all the homework and I knew that when I was a teacher I knew I wouldn't do homework and it's also been proven that homework actually does very little for you especially if you have a teacher who may or may not explain things very well all we're doing is sending them home to struggle so instead of uh, doing that I am honoring your nights to rest and to I guess do your homework in your other classes but I really want you to take the night that you would have spent doing your English homework and just relax and breathe, especially right now. Um, so I understand um, the importance of just breathing at nighttime and to really um, know that I'm working them really hard all period. I work from bell to bell. I don't give them much of a break because of the lack of homework. Um, I do have a bachelor's degree in English, a teaching credential in English, and I have a master's in education with an emphasis in writing. Um, some teachers are more obsessed with reading. I am more obsessed with writing. I know how much writing they're going to need to um, enroll in college one day. I know how much writing they're going to need to be successful during their college years. And I really want to give them the tools they need to um, be successful in their lives. Um, let's see here but I knew that I was passionate about giving them what they need. I've taught all the grades. Um, I especially love eighth grade, but I do enjoy teaching high school students. Um, just the fact that I have my own funny high school students um, at home and Luke is in middle school, um, I know that they are this full of love and hope and I just love these grades. So I also, my mother also taught third grade, so she was more of an elementary school teacher, but I knew that I wanted to go more of the middle school, high school route. But I spent my weekends in her classroom, you know, moving desks and putting up bulletin boards and grading papers. So that was kind of my life. And I felt that I fell in love with it because of watching her. Um, and I also just fell in love with English. And when I was in seventh grade, my teacher told us to write a poem and I just fell in love with it. So that is a little bit about me. I'm a mother, I'm a writer, I'm a teacher, and I just love being with your son or daughter and being their English teacher. So this is my son, Luke, right here, and this is Noah. So besides your students, they are my life. He is the one with the tons of homework that I am spending my nights helping him with. 
Um, I have I got my bachelor's degree with, in English from Ashford University. Both of my sons were very young, so I decided to go the online route. Excuse me. And then I have my teaching credential and my master's degree. I both I got them from the University of Laverne. And those were I was in the classroom for both of those. Um, a few places that I have taught at. Uh, I actually live out in the Santa Clarita, Valencia, Castaic area. Um, I love working here now. Uh, I've also spent the last uh, three years out here in the William S. Hart District. I've taught high school here, um, Honors English 9. This is where I taught my seniors. And then I taught three years of 8th um, grade here. So these are a couple of the schools that I've worked at, but I'm not planning on leaving the Aerospace Academy anytime soon. I am very happy out here. Um, I just wanted to spend a few minutes to go over some Zoom expectations. You guys can answer any questions when we have the Q&A. But basically, the goal is to have them on Zoom as much as possible. Um, I know how you know some parents aren't crazy about having their computer, their kids on front of the computer all day. Um, I, as a mother, I get that myself. You know, I'm I'm over here teaching at home, and my kids are upstairs on their own Zoom, and it becomes kind of a problem. But I just wanted to uh, share with you that we'll we will be zooming every day unless Zoom is having a breakdown. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm pretty much going to be giving them some directions to work independently. Otherwise, the other three days of the week, we will be zooming for the entire class period. I am working them. I am making sure they are staying busy. Uh, I do want there to be, um, because I don't give any homework, I want them to be active participants. And please tell them to um, sign in to Zoom with their first and last name only. If they sign in with a nickname or something else that they want to be called, I really won't recognize what that is yet. Uh, they're not required to have their cameras on, but I do request sometimes that when they are doing their group works, I like them to see each other, and really for all of us just to get to know each other better. Um, let's see, just to be respectful and kind with each other. Um, I know that if you are bullying or dis being disrespectful in my class, I will remove you from the Zoom call, and you will probably get a call or an email from me. Um, please make sure that they are actually focusing. I know you guys are working full time. You have your own things going on. I understand it. Um, but when they are on Zoom, I'm noticing that students are either gaming or they are listening to music. If you could please just make sure to remind them that when they are in class that I need to have their focus. Um, I live and breathe by the Common Core Standards. Uh, everything that I've been trained on has been preparing seniors for the real world, preparing 8th graders for high school and their future. I love to have them do, they've already um, completed their vision boards, which is a project that I'm passionate about where they are starting to plan what they want their lives to look like and what they're going to work towards every day. I have them do career research projects. Um, we write a lot of essays. I'm going to give them the tools they need, some acronyms to remember for when they're taking their SATs here soon. Um, for the 8th graders, I realize your SATs are probably a few years off, but it's never too early. Um, but I always give them, you know, we're going to be doing quizzes, we read novels. But my main thing that I think sets me apart from the other teachers is that I really believe that learning should bring joy. And I'm always finding fun ways to bring in games, like we're playing Syllabus Bingo here soon. And I always try to think about what is going on in their lives, and maybe having a teacher who could bring in some fun, rather than, you know, let's learn a lot of vocabulary, let's do things that they're not going to get excited or engaged about. I would prefer that they're excited about what we're learning. We're going to be using all of these programs. Um, they are used to using Study Sync and Think Circa. We're going to use that. But I'm also going to bring in other programs that I've found to be successful in the past. They're going to be citing evidence. They're going to get the tools they need. And I am committed and passionate to make sure that they do. We've decided as an English department, and I have just jumped on board with that, that because I don't do homework, 
Some of the teachers are making 45% of the grade homework and classwork. For in my class, it's only 45% will come from classwork, 30% writing, and because of the distance learning, we're not placing a lot of emphasis on the testing and quizzes, although it is still important. And then participation is probably my biggest factor. I really want to know that they are participating and I will be asking random people questions. I like to make sure they're paying attention. Um, besides that, you guys need to know that your students have been emailing me. If they send me a message on Google Classroom, I am always looking at my phone. I'm always making sure I get back to them. They should never have to wait more than, you know, an hour or two to hear from me. It'll more than likely be about 10 minutes. That's, I'm pretty fast. I just, um, you know, not to toot my own horn, but they are what I think about. I want to make sure that, you know, I really don't sleep very well if the students are, you know, if they're lost or they're struggling. And I, if they, if they leave my classroom and I know that all of their work is done, um, you know, everybody can breathe at nighttime and then come back and, and work hard again the next day. So um, please know that teaching is my life. I always knew I would be a teacher. I watched my mother do it. It just makes me so incredibly happy to see them excited and engaged. But if you ever want to contact me for any reason, there's my phone number right there. Um, this presentation will be on Google Classroom. You can send me an email. If it's after 9 o'clock, I would ask that you send me an email instead of a phone call. Um, but, whoopsie. I just wanted to share my presentation with you guys. Let me go back. Let me see real quick. That is the grading policy. Oh yes, you're gonna learn that I am obsessed with reading and coffee. Um, but that is my presentation. If you have any questions, just please send me an email. Please phone call me. Um, everything I do is for your son or daughter. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much.